Suzuki has added digital controls to its 140 horsepower engine for the first time, but does ripping out the cables and replacing them with wires make that much of a difference? Let's find out. The new digital controls have allowed Suzuki to do so much more with this engine, all aimed at making life much easier for skippers. One thing that's very different is we don't actually have a key to start this boat, instead you have a wireless fob, so you just need to have the fob near the boat to be able to start it. The other thing too is that if you drop it in the water, it floats. The key fob acts like an immobiliser, stopping anyone from just jumping on board and starting the engine. To start the engine, just ensure the key fob is somewhere near the steering wheel and push the button. What we now have is a digital throttle, something that Suzuki calls Suzuki Precision Control. That's looking after both the engine revs and forward and reverse gears. It doesn't look very different to a traditional throttle, but believe me, it is very different. For starters, throttle response is a lot more immediate than it is with a traditional cable system. There's also none of the notchiness that you'd feel from a cable control when shifting gears, particularly from forward to reverse. Now that the engine's gone electronic, you do have the option of automatic trim tabs, which is fantastic because once you're up and moving, the engine will automatically adjust the trim to how fast you're moving. It really is set and forget. The new Suzuki Precision Control System has also allowed Suzuki to upgrade its gauges to display even more information than before. Now, instead of having a single gauge, owners with the Suzuki Precision Control equipped engine can flick through the new multifunction screen to find any one of a number of gauges, showing exactly what they need. You can even choose if you want your engine display to be digital or analog. Me, I'm a digital sort of guy. Suzuki has also added the option of digital controls to the DF-115B outboard engine. That now means the system is available as an option on all Suzuki engines, from the 115 horsepower right up to the 315 horsepower. The flagship 350 horsepower has digital controls as standard. It's even possible to control the engine's low speed trolling mode via the screen. Once you've tried digital controls, there's no going back. I mean, I'm gonna to have to jump on my old boat soon with its cable controls and know that I don't have Suzuki's guardian angel looking over me. It really does make a difference.